Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and this video right here is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, this snippet of this video is from an interview I did with Game, BusyWorksBeat.com. Super awesome and I gotta, I gotta admit, man, I gotta be completely transparent with y'all. This gem for me personally is so major that I almost said, you know what, I'm just gonna keep this one in Brand Man Network. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna put this one out on YouTube, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna put this one on YouTube. And you know, know what? Here it is. It's the mat work. My agenda is a little bit different. So the way I look at music is just different because I don't want to be locked into a tour where I have to be gone because what's happening? Then I'm dissipating the energy I need for my business. People don't understand that. So I'm using this as advertising. Like that's what people need to get in their mind. Music is a channel, it's a medium. Like the thing between me and you, it's how we communicate. Yep. So if I show you all these values and I show you these concepts like Ciroc in the video and like there's product placement in my music video. There's this company called Thug Life who uh, we put his bottle in the video. There's uh, Golden Girls of Miami who have done videos with Lil Pump, Gucci Mane, mm. all the top guys. I even yep. saw one girl in the DJ Khaled video. She's in our video too. Wonder how we did that. <laughs> um what else? What else am I doing in those videos? It's mainly a bigger picture. I just went over this in the Kyle, po Kyle Beats podcast, but I think about do, I, the way I think is I don't do one thing. I do one thing to create 12 things. Mm. So not only are we doing a music video, we're advertising. So let me just do like a little caveman counting. So we're doing the music video. We're advertising crap that I want to advertise. We're establishing that I have a uh, status because I'm around a bunch of women around a bunch of luxury properties, okay? The fourth thing would be that um, I can send the songs as a project around the world stream, the obvious way. The fifth thing is I can break down the tracks and then let people have those tracks. And that's what we're gonna uh, have available in our 808s of Mermaids. Once it's released, people are gonna get the tracks, the songs, the music video, how I made the music video, so that's number six. Mm. So they're gonna get a course on top of all the music video stuff. And then what else did I plan on doing? Uh, the sounds, I said that, but that's the way I think. Like I multiply one moment into 12. I never, like if I'm filming, like we just did this with Sine. Like, yes, she could film in front of the camera, but I'm doing behind the scenes. I'm doing pictures. I'm multi-purposing the pictures as ads. I'm doing content over here. You can't just do one thing. That's where mm -hmm. people are getting stuck. It's the network. All right, again, that's Game from BusyWorksBeats.com, one of our most valuable, value-packed interviews to date. You can find the full thing on BrandManNetwork.com, of course. But one thing I got to focus on is just that simplification of the idea that I work on one thing to create 12 things. Because if you are always in that one-to-one -one relationship, I create this one product to make one sale or to make multiple sales, but it's only giving me this one output, you're likely going to stay in this system, this cycle where it becomes harder and harder to scale out your work, especially as a content creator and every artist right is a content creator anybody who's marketing these days honestly you are a content creator and if you're a content creator you're a marketer anybody that needs attention so you should always be trying to figure out a way to do one thing to allow you to do multiple things because at the end of the day we, we, we're trying to do more with less that's the way to think smarter this system i can vouch for not just because i've done it in my own way multiple times but Master P is essentially known for this. So if you have any doubt and you think this just sounds like kind of some kind of smart theory or something like that, Master P has said again and again that he does this. This is what he does. You, you have to have product placement. I have to wear my own shoes and things like that in my video when I have one artist and, uh, and I'm promoting their music. Back in the day when they had CDs, right? So they had CD covers and things like that. He would have a slit of all the other artists projects that are going to be coming out so he's giving you this cd but in the jacket it's advertising all the artists 
music that are going to be coming out on the label that year, right? You're taking every single opportunity, every bit of attention, and you're squeezing the most value out of it possible, right? Even if the value is just a message, you have to be thoughtful about what you're doing with that attention you have when you have it. It's the same reason we talk about having a catalog when you blow a song up so you can actually capitalize and increase the ROI that you get just from that one song being listened to. So I'm not going to go much deeper into this. I can literally talk about this for days and days and days. But other than that, man, as always, you can catch this full interview on brandmannetwork.com, man. I appreciate you game if you're watching this clip for whatever reason, man. Appreciate you doing this interview. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and like. But if you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.